America the beautiful, how ugly you seem in the cold light of day. America, you had your chance, you had your say, but you squandered the last light of true revolution, doused the burning embers in a hearth of promise of a new civilization, resplendent in the shining ideals of the true and honest worth of humanity and the world. America, you had your growing pains, blood soaked and schooled on conflict. You overcame all that came your way. You built a shining crystal palace of righteousness that peaked in the very lifetime of our fathers. America, for me, you peaked too soon. In my youth, I saw your primary principles become two-faced lies. And I pitied your glittering generalities, scorned your mesmerizing hype, foiled your plan to crush me, to squash me like a bug, to brainwash me, to get and spend and get and spend and toil and labor and sling hammer to the rock pile just to get some more and to pray to the God of the dollar. So I left you, America, as soon as I could. I left you, my country, my birthright, turned my back, walked away, took a hike, abandoned family, place and friends, unclutched my grip on the sofas and chairs of ambitions, fled the white noise of your cities, and found it all too much the ballast of the American dream. Away all these many years, America, I know you now, the system and the shitstorm, dashed to bits now all your ideals. You now wallow in conventional doublespeak, you sneer at grassroots wisdom, you put a racist, misogynist, know-nothing ringleader in charge, and with the greedy gods of capital and the cruel deeds of empire, you dare to come and haunt my dreams once more and gall me with your arrogance. And so, with the bitter taste of blood and dust still clinging, standing on the rubble I once called home, standing on the shards of civilization, I have to ask, is this the best you can do, America, to export massive misery to the world? All right, this is the end.